notes. Let me look at my notes. Oh. The, the stars shine bright both day and night. Deep in the heart of Texas. Good job. Amy Golliby. Hello. How are you? It's been a great, great evening of good music. Oh, so far it's been wonderful. And it's just gonna keep going. Mm -hmm. And Amy, you're gonna you're gonna bring your you know your 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 wonderful songs to us as well. But first of all, I see that you are an encourager too, in the sense that you want to other people to know that there is a silver lining in their dark times. Exactly. You want to say a little bit about that? I've been through my own dark times, especially throughout mm -hmm. my 20s. And uh, I it was only coming to God and coming to know Him better and finding hope in Him that I was able to come out of those dark times. So I hope that whoever is going through a really dark time, that they know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and there is a silver lining no matter what, because God is alive. So just want to mm -hmm. encourage anybody out there with that. That is a good word. And we need more of that because I don't know. I think Satan's like ramping up his rampage against God's chosen. And it just seems like there's more like, like it used to be like, okay, there's like two or three things that are coming as we kind of are ready for that. But all of a sudden, like we're surrounded and it, we're getting stuff from every direction. And you're right. God is in all of this, even though we feel like we're, you know, attacked, God's going to, going to give us his love, his strength, his refuge to us. So, Amy, what would you like to share first? All right, let me get my guitar. Uh, this song is one that I wrote um, maybe about 10 years ago. It's about my own testimony. And I had mentioned that, you know, I went through my own dark times in my younger 20s especially, just made poor choices. I think we all do when we're younger. <laughs> and it kind of led me away from God and... I think we have a tendency when we're living in sin, we have a tendency to hide from God, but like Adam and Eve did in the garden, they hid from him, but God always calls us back into the light. So I wrote this song to remind anyone who maybe have walked in darkness and they feel like they're damaged goods or they feel like they're not good enough, that God always calls us back into the light. And uh, um, Josh Gammon actually requested this, so shout out to him again, he gets another shout out. <laughs> So, uh, this song is actually on uh, both of my albums, and it's called Face of God. If my hands could touch the face of God
In the midst of the lies, I lost your truth. Somewhere along the line, I lost my youth. And I hid my face from God divine. But the line who made the light told me to shine. Oh, thank you. Wow. First of all, you are rocking that guitar. I mean, I thought it was going to catch on fire. Cause like, <laughs> I, I just, I love, I love it when, because I play. And I just love it when people just take control and just say, you are my instrument and I'm going <laughs> to. <laughs> that is yeah. so fun. But don't let fear consume me inside. What yeah. a great prayer especially for us who are going through struggles and trials and oh my gosh i let your light continue to shine how did you get inspired to write this song i think you i i apologize you might have said something at the beginning i might have missed it but what did, what inspired you to write this song yeah it's kind of based on just um you know going through all the dark times throughout my 20s my younger 20s and then coming back into the light and you know i think we have a tendency to hide in shame when we go through dark times but really god wants he always calls us back into the light so he always calls us to shine and to shine his light so no matter what we've been through and what we think you know sometimes we have a tendency to think oh i'm no good i'm damaged goods but really that's never true because god always heals us and makes us new so that's really kind of what that song represents god loves to restore doesn't he mm -hmm. <laughs> well amy grace us with another of your songs i'd love to hear what you have i'm excited so this uh next song you had mentioned earlier how um satan seems to be working double time these days yeah, I really think he's working triple time, like he's really attacking his, God's people and just attacking the whole world. And we can see it. It's just so obvious um, that all the spiritual warfare that we have right now. So this song is really a reminder that um, this isn't our home yet and we have a better home coming. And there's so much division among people right now. And this is just a reminder that we're not fighting against flesh and bone. We're fighting against Satan. So uh, this song is called Flesh and Bone, and it's actually not recorded yet. So this is like a sneak peek for what's to come in the future. Do I hear your voice when the mockingbird cries? My faith gets drowned in the house winds and wise. Out of busy streets, can't he yet call and be? The people need some help, Lord, hear our pleas. Ooh, 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 oh, 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 oh. This world's become an unthinkable race. People taking lives all over the place. Which side is right and which side is wrong? Oh, why can't we can't know, just get along. Flesh against flesh, bone against bone. We all forget this is not our real home. Eye for eye, tooth for tooth. We're all fighting to protect. 
wonderful man what a reminder this is not our real home this is just a place that we're waiting until God takes us home we stand in front of him and we become glorified bodies that just are able to experience all of God's love awesome thank you um so spiritual warfare now now have you experienced and anything like like I I happen to be like a intercessory prayer kind of a guy. I was just wondering have have you have you experienced any spiritual warfare, you know, in your life? I feel like it did last year. Last year was a pretty tough year for me. Um, mm -hmm. We were going through a lot of challenges, my personal life and my marriage and my my family. And I had never really experienced anxiety to the point of that level in my life before. But um, that was the first time I ever experienced panic attacks and night terrors. And hmm. it was a really hard, challenging year. And I think it really was a spiritual attack against me and my family and in my marriage. And I feel like God, I, mean, I feel like Satan was working overtime trying to just break up everything, every blessing that I had. And he, he almost did it. But we, but God always, he always intervenes. And I waited on him, and I, I just would sit and try to listen for God's quiet, still voice. And I had to really just get quiet and, and just sit still and try to hear him during that time. And he kept telling me to wait, wait on him, and wait to see what his plan is. And I'm so glad I did, because he told me if I waited on him, I wouldn't be disappointed. And so far, you know, we saw a miracle at the end of last year. You know, I went through such a hard year, and then at the very end, in December, I found out that I was pregnant, and we had been trying for three years. So, I feel like God came through during one of the darkest times in my life. So, that would be I was great. just going to ask you about your expecting, and yeah. you you read my mind. We're like, <laughs> we're like tractor beaming or something. I don't know, <laughs> but that is so neat, and... I, congratulations, my goodness. I'm sure everyone who's listening is like, yeah, get another, yeah. Get another wonderful little baby in the world. Oh, it's going to be so good. Um, what, uh, what, what is next for you as far as you, what you're going to sing right now? Uh, so this song is kind of related to what I was just talking about. Um, I wrote this when I was single and waiting on a husband but I feel like no matter what stage of life I'm in, I'm always waiting on God to answer my prayers. And um, during marriage, it was answering a prayer for a baby because I wanted my whole life I wanted to be a mom, and I didn't know that it was going to be so hard. You know, some people make it look so easy. So I didn't realize it was going to take three years <clears throat> for us to get pregnant. But uh, this song also, I would sing it to myself last year during all that darkness, and. Mm. Um, it kind of helped me to wait on God and to know that he was working during that time. You know, even though it seemed like he wasn't around, he was always working. And just want to encourage anyone out there who's listening, if you're waiting on some kind of answered prayer, he is working. He has a plan, even when it doesn't feel like it. So no matter what you're waiting on, I want this song to be an encouragement to you to know that um, He's behind the scenes and he has a plan. So this is called Wait My Dear and it's on my second album. Monsters were more than I could bear. I fought with all I had with no strength to spare. Ended and pleaded in desperate. 
said, wait, my dear, when did love be clear? Don't get lost in doubt and fear. Just take my hand, I know you don't understand the wisdom of my plan. Just wait, my dear. That is so cool. I saw this old episode of um, Extreme Makeover, the house thing, you know, move that bus, you know, that thing. And the woman, when she saw her home, she says, I don't have any more dreams. This is my dream. And and you said, you know, we're, we're going to give our broken dreams back to God. But that's the dream god is like our our destination our goal our you know if you if you would our dream and and just like hearing you say giving my b broken dreams back to you there's the one dream of god being in our lives and our everything right yeah god always has bigger dreams than we have mm. <laughs> sometimes they amy look Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I was going to give you one more song, so don't put your guitar oh, away quite yet. Alrighty, alrighty. <laughs> now, I'd like to uh, talk a little bit about, I guess, Back to New. Okay. And, yeah. and is that, you haven't played that yet. I'm sorry. I, I Sometimes I get scatterbrained, but. <laughs> no, I have not played that one yet. Is it well, anyways, this is the one of the songs that you recorded it in Nashville with Aren Creative. So uh, tell yeah. me a little bit about that experience. Yeah, um, so I met Ren Renfri. He's the producer for Aaron Creative. It's him and his wife. And they are actually from Texas. And so they came to, um, it's kind of an open mic. It was a, a music collective where people would bring their songs and have them critiqued. And they came to one of those and I was playing and they, they liked what they heard. So they wanted to produce me, <clears throat> but uh, they moved to Nashville by the time that I was ready to produce. And so I traveled up to Nashville and recorded that album with them. And so it's it's a kind of a mixture of uh, love songs and faith songs. Um, I wrote it throughout my 20s and recorded it in my 30s. And uh, it really, the whole album just kind of tells the experience of like going through heartbreak, but finding God through that heartbreak and, and finding healing through him. Mm. That is so cool. And are you ready? Would, would you like to share Back to New with us? Sure. Oh, okay. thank you so much. You take it away. <laughs> so I'll share a little bit of a background about this song. It's called Love You Back to New. And this um, 
So I had dated my guitarist. I had a band when I was <clears throat> really pursuing music before I got married. I had a full band and I dated my guitarist, which I don't know if I recommend doing that. <laughs> but uh, he struggled with alcoholism and it was kind of a very tumultuous relationship. And uh, of course it didn't work out because I just, you know, you have to set boundaries <clears throat> with toxic relationships. And so one of the last things he said to me was, um, I wish, you know, if I met the right person, then they can make me back to new again. And my, in my head, I'm thinking, well, if you met Jesus, you know, he would make you back to new again. But uh, this was kind of a song that I wrote in response to that. And it's really, for anyone who has ever tried to love someone with an addiction, it can be very hard because we, we want to fix them so badly, but we really can't. Like, God has to be the one to fix them. So this is uh, called Love You Back to New. Led you down a road of sin. Now you carry the cross of shame. Drown your sorrows in a bottle of gin. I swear you can never be the same. Oh, how I wish I could love you back to new. Take away all those things you never thought you'd do. It's never too late, you're not too far gone. Be the man you could have been who never went wrong. Oh, how I wish I could love you back to new. Love you back to new. Bad woman left you with a heart of regret. You can't trust again. But you never could quite forget Now you won't let me in Oh, how I wish I could love you better new Take away all those things you never thought you'd do It's never too late, you're not too far gone To be the man you could have been who never went wrong Oh, how I wish I could love you back to new, love you back to new. Don't listen to the lies that say you can never go back, you can never be the same. You feel you've lost too much of your youth. Nothing could be further from the truth. Wow, that is a powerful, powerful song. Thank you. <laughs> this is how you can get in touch with Amy, facebook.com forward slash Amy Gollaby. She told me to say it like Wallaby, so I hope I'm saying it right. <laughs> saying and it right. Amy, uh, what is up for you in the future? Now, you were talking about, you know, you might be recording your stuff or what, what's going on? 
well, I've got a baby on the way, um, coming in August. <laughs> That's my biggest project right now. Um, and I did just release three singles this year. So they're all online. Um, if they, they just want to Google my name, Amy Gollaby. I also have a website, amygollaby.com. If they want to get free songs, I have free downloads available. They just have to press the button, free songs, and it takes them and gives them free downloads. Um, and what else do I have going on? I have been doing live streaming on Twitch and Facebook. And um, what else? Oh, I've been giving songwriting lessons. I just started doing that. So if anybody's out there who wants to learn how to write their own songs, I'm starting to give lessons. So those are the current projects I'm working on. That is so great. And I bet you're going to have lots of students and lots of people following you. You write amazingly great songs, very spirit-led and that's good like having truth in your songs is so important especially in this day and age we want to make sure that we keep truth in the words that we're saying amy any last thoughts before well, we go i just want to say thank you to red for always having me and thank to all the other musicians that have been on here y'all have been amazing i loved hearing your voices and your music um and thank you to you too so I uh, hope to see y'all at the next show. I don't know when this is going to happen because I'm having a baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might have a few things going on in the next few yeah. months. But anyways, God bless you. God bless your family, your soon-to-be family. And he, God's forming that child in the womb even as we speak. It's amazing how much feel, God loves us. I feel him kicking in my womb, so <laughs> it's definitely a lot of <laughs> right on well god bless you thanks again amy all right